We routinely get panoramic films in our dental practice. And it's always a good idea to make sure that you have a systematic way that you review these films. Now, even if you're thorough, a recent article in the Quadruple O actually suggests that we could still be missing something. Some patients actually present with calcified carotid artery atheromas that can be seen on a panoramic film. So you may be asking yourself, what is a calcified carotid artery atheroma? What's actually an atherosclerotic plaque found in the carotid artery at the point where it bifurcates from the common carotid into the internal and external carotid artery. Now studies have shown that when these plaques are present, the patient is actually at increased risk for myocardial infarction, stroke, heart failure, and peripheral arterial disease. Now this condition can affect both men and women. Now we have carotid arteries on both sides of our head. So if you see a calcified carotid artery atheroma bilaterally, that actually means that the patient is at even more increased risk and that it suggests that there could be more widespread disease. You may be asking, what does this mean for us as dental providers? Why should you even care? As a dental provider, we should always ensure that our patients are safe to treat. And we should also look for anything that we may need to do as providers that may require us to modify our actual treatment for that patient. We should also always be screening our patients for underlying medical issues and make the appropriate referral to their physician when necessary. Now we should already be reviewing the medical histories with our patients, but if you think you've identified a calcified carotid artery atheroma, we should also look for underlying risk factors for atherosclerosis. So what kind of things will you look for? You wanna to look to see if the patient is actually obese. Do they have a history of high blood pressure? Do they have a history of high cholesterol? Does the patient use tobacco? Is the patient a chronic alcohol user? Does the patient have any chronic renal disease? Does the patient have a history of diabetes? Um, if it's a female patient, are they actually going through menopause? Now, when you're trying to identify these on a panoramic film, you need to know where to look. Typically, you're gonna look posterior to the angle of the mandible and inferior to the angle of the mandible you're gonna to wanna to look around the C3, C4 vertebrae. And in that specific area, you're gonna be looking for an irregular shaped mass or a radiopaque vertical line. Now there's other things that can cause calcifications in that same area. The patient could have calcifications of their thyroid cartilage or calcifications of the lymph nodes. Now it's important to keep in mind that a carotid artery atheroma is typically more irregular in mass compared to these other types of calcifications. So there have been many recent articles that actually suggest that we should be screening our patients for these atheromas. And really it's so we can help prevent the patient from having future cardiovascular issues. If you think you see something that is in line with a calcified carotid atheroma, you really should think about referring the patient to the physician so they can be evaluated for cardiovascular prevention measures. Unfortunately, just by looking at the panoramic film, we're not able to identify the precise location and the amount of stenosis of that artery. However, we can refer the patient to the appropriate source, their physician, and the physician can run their own diagnostic tests. So hopefully you'll never look at a panoramic film the same way again, and your eyes will be a little bit sharper and more attentive to detail. And who knows, maybe you'll actually save one of your patients from having some serious cardiovascular issues down the road. Remember, prevention is always preferred over treatment.